I have tested and used countless appliances over the years. However, this new Kasori 26 quart ceramic air fryer oven has a feature I have never seen in any air fryer before. Let's get straight into it. This air fryer is super easy to use. It has a beautiful design. It's really easy to cook with. Things cooked really just evenly and quickly and beautifully. And lastly, and probably the most important, it was incredibly easy to clean. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you all of the features, all of the things I cooked with it. And if you like this air fryer oven as well, there's a direct link in the video description. So let's get started. Today I'm reviewing the brand new 26 quart Kasori ceramic air fryer. Now this isn't just your ordinary air fryer. It has so many more functions. It has 13 functions in one appliance. And I think it's kind of selling it short to just call it an air fryer. It's basically a convection oven that can do so many things and wait till the end because it has one feature that I was kind of blown away by. So really quick, let's just get the technical specifications out of the way. As we unbox this machine, you can see that it comes with lots of different accessories. It also comes with a user guide, a user manual like this, and it comes with a quick start guide and a recipe book with 30 different recipes that you can use in the new air fryer. I always appreciate when they add a recipe book because then you can see how the makers of the product kind of envisioned it being used. It can really highlight the appliance's features and kind of the multifaceted uses that you can use in one recipe in one appliance. So this is a 26 quart oven, which is really large. However, it's not that big on the counter. So let me show you how it compares. So this is my Kasori water kettle, which I absolutely love. This is sitting right next to it. It's got about four inches of clearance on top of the water kettle. The air fryer sits on the countertop and it has plenty of clearance above it before hitting my cabinet. So my kettle right here, if I put it right in front of it, it's about two kettles worth, maybe two and a quarter of these kettles. So it's not taking Taking up a ton of space on the actual counter. This appliance is not too large on the countertop. However, if you do have a smaller kitchen that doesn't have an oven, this is perfect because it has so many functions and you can use it in so many different applications. I also think this would be really nice in like a basement kitchen or a kitchenette, a rental, an RV, or if you have kind of an on the go lifestyle where you don't have a full kitchen or access to a full kitchen all the time. It's not necessarily meant to be a portable product. However, you could transport this if you need to air fry, bake, roast, or use some kind of a function that this oven can provide on the go outside of your house. Also during this video, you'll notice that this appliance can do way more than just bake or air fry. So keep in mind how those features can maybe work into your lifestyle and your needs. So like I mentioned, this is a 26.4 quart air fryer. It has 13 functions and the temperature range is between between 80 degrees and 450 degrees, which I really appreciate because then you can get really nice broils and crisps on things and also just have it really nice and kind of warm for warming foods or for proofing. The time range also goes from one minute to 24 hours, which is cool because it has a really neat dehydrate setting, which we'll explore a little later on as well. As far as the nitty gritty details, this machine is 16.9 by 12.4 by 17.7. It also weighs in at 28.6 six pounds, which is not too bad. It's not super light, but I was able to carry it and manage it on my own. Now let's just take a look at the actual design of this air fryer. So as you can see, it's one of the pull down units like this, and it has a three pronged cord. So it's very easy to use. And the UI is like really slick. It is super cool. It's slightly angled so that you can see it in the most optimal way. It's got a little dial so that you can change between settings really easily easily and this knob feels really just like quality <laughs> like I just, I don't know, you know what I mean? It just feels like really nice when you turn the knob. Inside, you'll find a lot of accessories that this comes with. So first things first is this air fry basket. So this is kind of like a mesh wire rack. And the cool thing is that it actually tells you which level to put it on. So you can see it has like a one, two, three, four, five, and it tells you the layer that you should put which rack. And that's all in the recipe book and the instruction manual. It's also really nice that it has this gigantic viewing window and it has has on here the actual settings and like the layers in which it recommends to do which setting. The next accessory it comes with is 
this little roasting pan and it comes with an insert as well to keep things off the bottom of the pan, which is really nice. So then you can roast things without it sitting in the liquid. It can get nice and cooked evenly throughout and have good air circulation. Next is just the wire rack. You can put nine pieces of toast on this or you can just air fry anything on here or you know do bagels, pizzas, anything like that. It's just a flat rack. Then lastly, it comes with this sheet tray, which you can actually do a cool feature with I'm gonna tell you about later. However, it's nice and flat and a little bit more shallow than the roasting pan. So this is really great for warming up leftovers or just using like as a cookie sheet. There's so many different applications you can use. They also recommend putting it underneath the fry basket so then it will catch any crumbs or drips and that's really nice. One more accessory this cool appliance comes with is actually a thermometer probe. Now you guys know I'm obsessed with cooking to temperature and so this is a really nice feature to have included in the machine. The thermometer probe goes straight underneath this little knob area and it has a little sign on here that actually says thermometer insert. So it just clicks right into there and it's super easy. Then you can just easily put this into whatever you're cooking so if you're doing a roast chicken or a larger piece of meat like a pork tenderloin or a roast or something this would be excellent to just keep right in there and then you can actually set the temperature to cook to a specific temperature or to alert you and that is the most accurate best way to cook is always to temperature not to sight not to you know to a certain brownness or time temperature always. So those are all the accessories that come in this 26 quart ceramic air fryer. I actually really appreciate that they include these because these are kind of a specific size to this specific appliance. So it's nice that they don't force you to buy something new in order to use the appliance because it is kind of a different size than let's say a traditional oven. Everything fits perfectly in there. It's designed for it and that makes it really seamless and easy to use. The first two functions that this air fryer has is a toast and bagel function. What's cool about this is that it browns the outside of the bread while keeping the inside soft and it recommends using the wire rack for this. What you can do is also change the shade and the number of slices of toast or a bagel that you have and then it will adjust right there. If you need more time, you can also add more time once it starts cooking and it can fit up to nine slices of bread. The next function is pizza and pizza melts and browns cheese and toppings while crisping up the crust and it recommends to use the wire rack and it automatically goes to 400 degrees and sets a default of 14 minutes. Of course, you can change all of that here and you can change the temperature if you need to brown or broil something a little bit more or you just add more time if you need. Now, one recommendation with the pizza setting is if you are using this, I would put either the fry basket on the rack below it or something to catch of the crumbs and the cheese just so that it doesn't melt right onto the bottom heating element. Even if it does like it did for me, it's no big deal. It wipes up really easily, so that's really easy to clean. But that is the pizza function and you can fit up to a 12 inch pizza like this. Next is air fry and this is the best for general cooking. It's best for foods like chicken wings, burgers, french fries, and anything you want to crisp up in the air fryer like bacon or mozzarella sticks. I love using it. It defaults to 450 degrees for 20 minutes and they recommend using the fry basket for this function and to put the rack on level three. What I love about this one in particular is that I was able to add an entire bag of tortilla chips into the fry basket like you can see here and air frying tortilla chips is a total game changer. It just makes the chips taste really like corny and roasty and they are absolutely amazing. I just air fried these for about three to four minutes and you can see that they're like crispy and they're kind of bubbly and they are so so good and I could do the entire bag. Usually I have to do it in about three batches. The next function is air bake. Air bake is similar to the bake function but with increased airflow and it evenly cooks baked goods so it's mostly like a convection oven. It'll default to 350 degrees for 30 minutes and they recommend using the sheet tray on rack three. Up next is air roast. It's going to default to 425 degrees for 45 minutes. And this is ideal for cooking a variety of meats and poultry. They recommend using the roasting rack insert on level 
table for and putting it on 425 degrees. The air row setting is ideal for cooking meats and poultry. You can see that we did a rotisserie chicken here and this is a really great chance to use the thermometer that's included. You can set the probe to a specific temperature and then on the display it actually tells you the current internal temperature and that is such a cool feature. I really love that. Next is a really cool function that I've never seen before is an air sous vide. So air sous vide is for cooking food at low temperatures for a long time and the food must be vacuum sealed before cooking. They recommend doing this on the wire rack and putting the rack on level three. It's going to default at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. So this is like water sous vide cooking, but apparently you can do an air sous vide now. So that is a cool new function I've never seen before. Next, we're gonna go up to proof. Now I love this one. This one defaults to 85 degrees and it goes for one hour. And proof is used to rise yeasted doughs prior to baking or for fermenting yogurt. So who knew you could make yogurt in the air fryer? This one they recommend using the wire rack on rack position four and you can proof bread dough. I'm gonna try putting my sourdough starter in here and to see if it will help kind of get it rising, especially as it gets cooler. I think this will be a great application to proof bread and to proof my sourdough starter. On to bake. This is ideal for food like muffins, cakes, baked goods. It's going to default to 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And of course you can change all these. They recommend using the sheet tray on rack position number four, and you can just bake just like a regular oven. I actually use the bake setting to make this egg puff casserole. It's my favorite thing. And I really liked how I could use the included pan. This fit over 12 eggs, two cups of cottage cheese. I always just do like a little bit of flour, baking soda, a can of green chilies, and some cheddar cheese. This is one of our favorite breakfasts. It has tons of protein in it and it cooked beautifully, super evenly, and it just fits in there so nicely. We're gonna move on to broil. Now this goes to the high setting for 10 minutes. This uses a high temperature for finishing dishes. So melting cheese, toasting, searing meats, or giving something a little crisp on the top, like a little casserole or something. This is perfect because it's super high temp. They recommend using rack position one, so it's highest to the heating element and to use the sheet tray. Next, this one says D-E-H-Y. This stands for dehydrate. It goes to 135 degrees Fahrenheit for six hours. So this is used to dry things out like fruits, meats, jerkies. If you want to do anything like that, this is a great appliance to do because you can put a lot of things in here. You don't want to make just like four pieces of beef jerky in a smaller air fryer. This is fantastic for making like a fruit leather or for making beef jerky. Next is a really nice one. It's warm. So this defaults to 160 degrees for an hour and you can use the sheet tray. You can put on any rack position. It just keeps things warm. So I think something that's really nice about this one is you can put food in here to warm, but you can also maybe do like plates to keep plates warm. It's really nice for parties. If you run out of oven and stove space, this would be excellent. Also, if you're serving something at a party where you want to keep it warm, like a warm cookie or some kind of a warm baked good that you want to keep nice and warm, because sometimes things just dry out and they just don't taste good cold. This is an excellent way to serve something at a party without it going cold. Next is is reheat. So reheating is just great for warming up leftovers. You can use a sheet tray on any of the racks and it defaults to 300 degrees Fahrenheit at 20 minutes. If you are counting, then you know that we just did 12 of the 13 functions in this new air fryer. And the last one, honestly, I was just a little bit confused at first. And then I like got it and I was like, what? This is wild. Okay, so this is something I've never seen on any air fryer or honestly like any appliance even close to this before. And that is that this appliance, this air fryer oven has a built in burner. So let me show you. With this air fryer, when you open it up, this bottom, this bottom surface right here is actually a burner. It's a heating element. This is the casserole pan that it comes with and you can cook directly on here just like as if this were a pan. So this does not go in any of the racks. You just put it right on there and you use it as a burner. So you can brown things before you bake them or if you're low on space and you just need like something to use a burner on, you can also use your pots and pans 
inside of this air fryer, just like that, right on top. And you can use it just like a stove top burner. Now this blows my mind because you could be making something in here and then you just turn it off. You can shut it, keep it on, keep warm. You can make anything on here. Now this itself is not a cooking surface. So you can't just pour pancake batter directly on there. But if you don't have a lot of space, or like I said, if you have a tiny little kitchenette that doesn't have a stove top and you just want to put this in there as like an all in one solution, that would be amazing to use this as an oven, an air fryer, a toaster, and a burner. That's pretty amazing. To use this as a burner, all you need to do is press the burner setting and then it goes from low and then it goes all the way mid and high. And you can also change this right here on the temperature. So it goes from L10 all the way to L1 if you want it cooler, like on low. But I'm gonna do on high and I'll show you just how hot it gets. I'm going to just do a pot of water directly in there. And you don't have to close it, but you can if you like. I'm going to close it and we'll see how fast it boils. Okay, so it's been just about 10 minutes and we've got boiling water. I think maybe next time I might like leave this open or not, but of course this is going to be hot because it's been really hot in there. But I wanted to show you just how hot it's going to be in here on the burner on the highest level. That is extremely hot. My goodness. As always, you need to make sure that you use the proper tools to make sure that you don't burn anything. But look, you can boil water in an air fryer. That's pretty cool. Another thing you can do is add this pan right in here and then that will heat up and then you can saute stuff in there just like a stovetop burner. And those are the functions. Now that is a ton of functionality packed into a relatively small design considering everything it can do. So to recap, it has a large viewing window, which I love because that's kind of the frustration that I have with a lot of my other air fryers and air fryer type devices is that you can't view, you can't watch it. You can't monitor it as well. You have to always stop the cooking process, pull that basket out and then check on it. This way you can watch the whole time and you can anxiously wait for your food to be done. Also got an interior light along with, like I said, a 26 and almost half quart capacity. It can fit a 12 inch pizza, a five pound whole chicken, nine pieces of toast or 12 pounds of turkey. It can also be used like every day for just one or two pieces of toast and it cooks perfectly every single time. And now let's cook. I'm going to show you and highlight some recipes that are really well suited for this air fryer oven in this larger machine versus something that you have to make in a smaller machine. So we'll do a little bit of some side-by-side -side cooking as well so you can see the benefits of using this new air fryer. Right off the bat, here are some of the advantages of using this air fryer versus a smaller standalone one. When you have more space like you have here with the five cooking racks, you have more area that you can place foods and allow more airflow. That means things cook faster and are crispier all around. You can also make food for a larger family. Most six quart air fryers aren't well suited for more than about two to four people. If you're making kind of a bigger main dish or even a side, you have to do it in batches. So having something like this is just like one stop cooking. You can make a whole batch for everyone in the crowd. Something that's also really nice is that you can cook multiple foods at once. So since there is room here, you can do two different things on two different racks or you can kind of mix things up. You can cook a lot more food in this on the multiple racks versus one standalone air fryer. And one of the other benefits, like I mentioned, is you can keep foods warm for a really long time if you're entertaining or if you're just kind of waiting to eat dinner or if you have maybe like a plate of food that you've made and someone's just coming home a little bit later in your family, you can just stick it right in here and it will stay warm and fresh. All right, so now let's check out some recipes. I tested this air fryer oven on almost a dozen foods and it actually did an incredible job. It cooked things very evenly. There was so much room to cook whatever I wanted and it gave enough space to give everything room to breathe and to cook super evenly to get brown on all sides so it wasn't all crowded together. Now that we've talked about how easy this air fryer oven is to use and how easy it is to cook with, let's talk about how easy it is to clean. Now this is super important to me because I just, 
hate taking so much time cleaning. I already spend so much time cleaning everything. So this was really simple to clean. The baking pan and casserole pan are dishwasher safe. Which is a huge, huge help because I absolutely hate hand washing anything. So those are really easy. And the interior of this air fryer is really simple to clean as well. Now, when you're air frying, I would definitely recommend to put the large wire rack on the bottom shelf and then add the drip tray right on top of that. So then it catches any crumbs because otherwise they can fall onto the heating element, but no worries, even if they do, it was really simple to clean. Of course, you need to make sure that your air fryer oven is completely turned off and all the way cooled down after cooking. And then all those crumbs and any little browned or burned bits on the bottom wiped up super easily. Just take a cloth or a soft sponge and just wipe everything down and everything was super sparkly really quickly. Now, as far as the exterior, we've got this giant viewing window, which is super nice, but it's really easy to clean. Just take a soft paper towel or microfiber cloth and wipe it down. And the rest of the air fryer on the outside sides are super simple to clean as well. Now, I really appreciate this, that I don't have to get any special cleaners or do anything special to disassemble it. It's really easy to clean. And now for my final review and tips on the 26.4 quart Kosori ceramic air fryer oven. This appliance was a new kind of appliance for me. I've used tons of air fryers and of course I've used used an oven my whole life. However, this is a hybrid appliance that has a lot of new and advanced features. So it was incredibly easy to use. I really love the design. It's sleek, it's beautiful, it's very modern looking, and I love how the display was very easy to use. It's very user-friendly. The little knob works really nicely and everything just is very self-explanatory. You don't need a lot of guidance on how to use it. It's very intuitive. This little screen part is perfectly angled. It's at a specific 12 degree incline so you don't have to like bend over or like move to see the temperature and the settings. It's like perfectly placed so then everything is really easy to reuse. Next, for its size, it can actually do a ton of work. Now, like I mentioned before, this can fit 12 pounds of turkey, a whole rotisserie chicken, and honestly, I feel like I could have fit two rotisserie chickens in there. I also baked all these little mini muffins. I fit a whole 12 inch pizza in there for crying out loud, and it just worked so well. This thing can work. For how much it can fit, it actually is pretty small on the counter. You can see I still have room on the countertop here and it was designed to be compact yet be able to do a lot of really robust cooking. As far as the cooking itself, I thought that the temperature was really accurate. I just used the package instructions on almost all of the foods that I cooked and the recipes that I made. I just used the exact same time and temperature and it cooked really well and evenly, nothing really burned. And I was really impressed with that. This air fryer oven has five different racks and I love how on the display window, it shows you exactly which rack to use for which setting you are cooking with. Also, like I mentioned, this burner element feature was very, very intriguing to me. And while I would not necessarily recommend using it as your primary source of stovetop cooking, I think in a pinch it is really nice to have and it's just an option, especially if you have this appliance in a smaller space and you don't cook that often, I think it's perfect for that. It's definitely not a feature I've ever seen before and it's something that adds a lot of value without taking up any additional space. The thing I honestly really just love about this most is that it can cook a lot of food. I love, love, love using my smaller countertop air fryer. However, this is the surface area in which it can cook, which is not very much. Compared to this rack, this can fit so much more food and it has multiple racks, so then it can do even more than just this amount. Even if you don't have a large family, like we only have four people, I still find myself having to do multiple batches of cooking and that just takes up a lot of time. It's definitely one of of the best and most beneficial features of having this larger air fryer. Next, obviously the cleanup is really nice. Everything on the inside is non-stick and dishwasher safe, so I really appreciate that. I love the little light inside that, and the huge window, so then you can see everything as it's cooking. That makes a huge difference as well. The last thing which was really unexpected for me is that this appliance is really quiet. It is like 
so much quieter than my other air fryers that I've tested before and that is amazing. It makes a big difference. The air fryer cooking itself is really, really quiet, but also like the beeps and the sounds and the done little alarms, like those are really like, they're alarming enough, but they're also not obnoxiously loud. So I really appreciate that. I can't really stand it when appliances are super loud. No review would be complete without at least a couple critiques. And honestly, I don't have that many. My biggest critique is that there's no just one dedicated off button. There is a start and pause button, which is really nice. And it automatically pauses when you open the door, unless it's on the burner setting. However, I wish there was just one button that just said off so that, you know, when all the settings are automatic and it starts going, I wish I could just press off. That's probably my biggest critique. Well, thanks so much again for watching. And thank you so much to Kasori for sponsoring today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching this review of the new 26.4 quart Kasori ceramic air fryer oven. This this thing is amazing. And if you're interested in buying it, there's a direct link in the description below and you can go straight to the website to purchase it. If you like this video, make sure you watch this air fryer video next and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.